Massive trees like this one, no match for powerful winds in northwest Indiana today. And it's not just trees, power lines are down too, and the wind threat isn't over yet. We have team coverage, including why some drivers are being told to stay off the Indiana Tollway. But first, Jim Williams, live in Gary, one of the hardest hit areas. Jim. Erica, the wind was so strong, it uprooted this large tree and carried part of the sidewalk with it. Yes, the sidewalk. City workers right now have started the long process of removing the tree. The owner of this home has been at work all day, and she is going to be shocked when she sees this and damage throughout the area. Throughout Gary, traffic lights were out, trees were down, some blocking streets. Robert Harris grabbed his chainsaw and went to work for a neighbor. The big wind came through and knocked it down, and um, my neighbor was disabled. So I, I, I'm, I live next door there. You're being a good neighbor. Right, and so I'm, I'm removing it before his wife get, get back from work. Power at Paul Bellinger's home went out this morning. Well, this morning we was getting up, getting ready to cook breakfast, and bam, we heard a big explosion, you know, and then uh, the power went out, you know, so we had to go out for breakfast because, you know, we had nothing to eat. It was the result of 50 mile an hour wind gusts. This man had the good fortune to move his truck right before this tree snapped. Oh, I pulled up right here. I was parking to come. I'm working at this house over here and yeah. I pulled up and I was like, you know, I don't want to move or I don't want to be parked too far away. So I backed up a few feet and the next time I came out, this tree was right here. Nearly 50,000 customers in northwest Indiana were without power much of the day. Some homeowners who couldn't cook we're hoping to get something to eat on 169th and Hammond, but there was no electricity up and down the busy street. You ever seen any kind of damage like never, that? Never, never, never have I seen that before. And I was born and bred in Gary, Indiana, lived at several addresses, but I've never seen anything like this. Here are the latest numbers of those without power. 36,000 in Northwest Indiana, 15,000 here in Gary. And the work goes on as uh, these ladies and gentlemen try to remove this tree from the front yard of a home here in Gary. Bobby Gary, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica, Brad. All right, Jim Williams, thank you for that.